Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah to all of you, brothers and sisters, anywhere in the world. Welcome to a new Tajweed lesson. In our class today, we will continue speaking about the five principles. We spoke about the first one, the articulation point. Today, we'll speak about flowing of the air. Flowing of the air means that there will be amount of air will flow while pronouncing the letter. We have some certain letters. They are around 10 letters in the Arabic. They contain flowing of air while pronouncing any one of them. They will not be the same in all the cases. So I will not go deeply here and speak about all the 10. I will just give you a brief about what is flowing of the air. We spoke last class and we gave an example, the word to pronounce a proper th, you need to move your tongue. Tip of your tongue will be touching the upper teeth and just a very small pit of tip of your tongue will be just outside. Like what you do in TH3, for example, you gotta use tip of your tongue with the upper teeth. It's completely different than three, three. This is not right. Right now we know th comes from this particular point, but Thel as well is coming from the same place. What's the difference between both of them? It is flowing off the air. Let's take another word. Starts with thel, like them, them. Do you see? Let's try it one more time. Th, 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 th. No air. There will be air. Okay. The difference between these two words, the tongue will be in the same articulation point in the first letter in both, and the second letter is identical. What will differentiate one of another? It is the air. Air, brothers and sisters, here will determine the meaning. So air is not just a simple thing. I can just, it's okay, contain some air. I will try my best, all right? No, it's not about trying your best. It's about to deliver the right meaning and the proper meaning. You need to push the air to specify the sound of th, then thel. Thumma means then, th, th. Ah, there is no air here in then, okay? But we have just a similar word like then in English. It is thin. What is the difference? It is the air. Yes, the air will determine the difference between thin and thin as it did in thumma and them. All right. Hopefully that it was clear enough to explain to you what flowing of air can do to change the letter sound. And when the letter sound changes, the meaning of the word will change. We'll see you inshallah in next class and we'll continue inshallah our classes in Tajweed. Hope to see all of you in a good health and deen. Till that time, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.